Uh, so in this one, we're looking at the surface area of a cylinder this time. Uh, now, you'll remember from a previous video that the surface area of a cylinder can be described uh, by two circles on top and bottom and uh, by a rectangle in the middle. Now, that really depends on the type of cylinder. We'll discuss that at the end of the video. Now, it's very important that... Um, I'm going to show you a formula here, but it's very, very important that you use it with caution because it's only going to work some of the time. Now, the formula for surface area is equal to uh, 2... Well, actually, I use a different color here just to make it very, very clear what's happening. Surface area is equal to 2 pi r squared. Now, the reason 2 pi r squared is in our formula is that's going to find us our circles times 2. So, remember the area of a circle is pi r squared. So, this part of our formula, this part of our formula here finds one circle, and then we multiply it by 2 because we want to find two circles. So this part finds the area of the two circles. Uh, now the second part is designed to find the rectangle. Now the formula for finding the rectangle is, uh, let's see, how do I want to word this? Let's use... 2 pi d, uh, I'll use the same formula that will be on the sheet, 2 pi r h. Okay, uh, the way that this formula works is the 2 pi r finds the circumference of the circle, that is the distance around the circle, because the distance around the circle is going to be equal to this length here. So the 2 pi r finds that length, and finally the h on the end finds the height. Now, uh, I'll work through this one really, really quickly so you can see how it all works. Now it's 2 pi r squared. Now the diameter is 8, which means that the radius is 4, plus 2 pi r, oops, 2 pi 4 times 10, because that's the height. It's really just a matter of putting all that into your calculator. So this part of our formula makes 100.52, or 53, I think. And this part here makes uh, 251.32. Okay, um, just remember that this part of our formula is finding the two circles. There's our area of the two circles. And this part of our formula here is finding the rectangle. Now you add all that together, final answer, and you get uh, 351.85. Now again, it's centimetres squared. Now, important note. Important. Uh, now, I've told you the individual components of this formula, and it's very, very important that you understand them, because sometimes you'll get a surface area question where the cylinder... doesn't have a top. Uh, now, if it doesn't have a top, obviously you're only finding the area of the base and the area of the sides. So the formula for one where it doesn't have the top is the same formula, but there's no 2 at the front. Because remember, the 2 tells us there's two circles. So the surface area of one without a top would be pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. There also might be other tricky questions where they ask you to paint, so they've got like an open cylinder, and they ask you to paint the inside and the outside, they want to find the surface area. So if you're painting the inside and the outside, it means you would still have two circles, 
because you would have a circle on the bottom and you'd have to paint the top of the bottom circle as well. But it also means that you'd have two of these because you have the outside of the cylinder and you'd have the inside of the cylinder. Uh, so these cylinders can get tricky, but if you understand how the formula works and what each part of the formula is finding you, this formula finds you the two circles, this formula finds you the rectangle, then you can break it up and use it however you need to use it.